All right, folks, I know you can't see me. You're not supposed to be able to see me. <laughs> Welcome back, my YouTube people and friends and enemies and <laughs> neighbors and everybody else. You internet folks, you internet surfers, YouTube cruisers, Facebook people, all you folks. Welcome back to Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement. Also paint correction and other things here in Sharpsburg, Georgia. See, I'll show you one more time my official membership card. See, actually that's a business card, but you get the idea. I'm not sure if it's focusing on that or what. <laughs> yep, it's the same car. <laughs> this is my car. This is part two where we're working on the hood. You can see one of the streaks that I showed you guys earlier today, it's, or whatever that is. There's a bunch of them right in there. It almost looks like a cat got on it. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit today, see what I can do with it without it just going crazy. And what I've done, I'm going to do a quick optimum no rinse wash on just the hood area that's all I'm worrying about this afternoon because it's so poopy outside and I'll have a couple tools for that I just got this one little cheap little sprayer here I don't know I think I paid five six seven dollars for it I forget where and it's just got my optimum no rinse solution in there I forget the ratio whatever it is the directions say on the bottle mixed up in there and I have a larger quantity in that bucket down there same instructions same ratio and I like to mix it up five gallons at a time because then when I want I need more in here all I have to do is dip this down take the top off dip this down in there fill it up and you're ready to roll I also have a different mixture in this little what they call 360 mister bottle and it's mixed according to instructions on the label for quick detailer. If you don't know what a 360 mixture bottle is, I think they're invented for mostly hairdressers, but watch this. I mean, that comes out in a very, very fine mist. It's not like your regular spray bottle where you got big droplets, little droplets. and It's perfect for like spraying on quick detail. Or I use it a lot for priming my polishing pads you know like this lake country black polishing pad i just give a little squirt before i put my polish or compound on there it kind of helps give you a little bit of extra lubrication i've heard that lubrication is good <laughs> oh boy that's just a very shaky operation today so anyway i'm going to show you what i do other people do it different and that sponge that you saw down in that bucket down there, it's already been dipped and squeezed out where it's wet, but it's not dripping. And we'll get to that here in a second. But I'm just gonna spray this hood down with this spray bottle with the O and R. Get it pretty wet. Just my way of doing it. And to take advantage of the chemicals in this stuff, because what it's set up to do and what it's designed to do is it has, I think they call it an emulsifier in there. This stuff, it actually encapsulates the dirt and lifts it away from the surface of the paint is what I've been taught and told and it seems to be true. And it also provides a high level of lubrication between that dirt that's been lifted away and your paint clear coat whatever it is and then what i do is i take i prefer the long fingered one wash mitt i just happen to grab this one although i do prefer the long finger ones for the doing the rinseless wash because you can get in all the little nooks and crannies with it better you can use a microfiber towel whatever you so choose it doesn't really make that big a difference a lot of professional detailers prefer this method of washing over their traditional two, three, four, 
five, six, seven buckets, however many buckets you like to use, because they feel like this is actually a safer way to wash your car, that it leaves less marks on your paint than the traditional method. So what I do, you just take it, kind of roll it like that, and it just lifts all that dirt right off. And it does, it works folks, trust me. This is a great way for washing your car in the dead of winter when you just don't want to feel like you're getting outside and getting your hose and your buckets out and getting all wet while you're out there in 10 degree weather, 20, 30 degrees, whatever it is. Let's see what I should do. If I was just regularly washing my car this way, I would go get a clean wash mitt because this one's already picked up a bunch of dirt. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But since I'm going to be doing paint correction anyway, or paint enhancement, I should say, it doesn't really matter a whole lot to me today about that because I'm going to be polishing anyway. And I'm just trying to get the surface dirt off of here so I'll have a relatively clean surface to polish on. It's just kind of an experiment because like I say this thing has the um, I'm not going to bother drying it because I'm going to be polishing and I'm going to let it dry on its own a little bit I want a little bit of lubrication left on there for my polishing purposes, but I'm experimenting with this, even though I didn't put it on properly, with this Optimum Clear Coat Restorer to see if you can polish this streaking out, even if you put it on wrong like I did. I feel pretty certain you can do that if you apply it properly. Well, I know you can because I've done it on other parts of my car, but this one I, I did wrong. I Basically, I did not use enough product and I didn't quite properly prepare it, although I was very, very close. It wasn't quite to their specs, but I think the bigger mistake that I made was using too little. The Optimum Clear Coat Restore to a point Actually, a little more is better, unlike a lot of these products, because you want it on there where it almost wants to run, but not quite. And if you do get a little bit of a run or a drip, you just go back and wipe that down. But I put it on very thin on this hood, and it did just exactly what they said it was going to do if you did it that way. I got streaking. Eh, that's the way it goes. It's my car. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> this car has got to be repainted some in the future anyway. And in fact, what I may do just for demonstration purposes for you guys, this is a drying towel. It came from uh, Luxury Microfiber. It's called the Sucker Junior. This one towel, you can drop it in a couple of gallon of water in a bucket and it will absorb every drop of it. If this whole car was soaking wet, you could dry this whole car and then dry another one without even squeezing it out. And it's a little damp because I washed it a little while ago and it actually, some of you may know this, that microfiber towels actually dry better when they're slightly damp. So the way you do that is this. Just drag it across there like that. And folks, it is taking up every bit of that moisture, every bit of it that is dry as a bone right now. And that's so you don't scratch. Like I say, normally I would do that if I were just washing this car or cleaning it up. But like I said, today I don't really care if I get too many scratches on it because I'm going to be doing polishing anyway. And what little scratching I would put on there, I would take out. And, you know, during one wash, you're probably going to scratch your car. If you wash it improperly and dry it improperly, you're going to scratch it even more. 
And a lot of times I don't dry this method. I just use the force there with the leaf blower. And, but those scratches are cumulative. First thing you know, you've scratched and scratched and scratched over a period of months. And they start to show in the bright light or the sunlight and they will start to dull the shine on your paint and cause it to be more susceptible. Those scratches cause it to be more susceptible to the UV rays, UVB rays from the sun. And then that's when you start getting that slight oxidation, which gives you that kind of a dull shine that you see sometimes, but then it will continue to get worse and worse and worse. All right, folks. All right, hit that big subscribe button for me. I'm gonna get set up with my polisher and then we'll come back and do what? What was this, part two? We'll do part three, folks. Thank y'all. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up for me. Make a comment, a suggestion, a criticism, anything you want to know about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, what I'm using. If you need help, a little guidance, feel free to ask me. I'll, I'll help you. All right, folks, stay tuned for the next part, which will be, what, part three? <laughs> All right, guys, bye.